Felice Herrig, aka Little Bulldog, and I am here at Team Curran with Shell Diablito Gutierrez. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are here to talk about Supremacy MMA. So, how did you feel about our photo shoot yesterday? It went pretty good, right? Mm, that was a fun photo shoot. What was your favorite outfit that we got to wear? Oh, I liked the um, our little like jersey type T-shirt. Yeah, like yours was black, and mine was white and pink, and. You're just cool. I think so my fun. least favorite was the dresses that we were in. I just felt so non. I, I don't felt know, myself. Moving in them. Yeah. I love getting dressed up though. Like I love feeling like sexy and everything. But I think for a photo shoot, it just was a lot more uncomfortable to right. move around and like hit poses and stuff. But it was still fun. Yeah, it was definitely a good contrast. MMA gloves and dresses. I think yeah. that was pretty cool. What about the dog? Did you get a dog in your pictures? I thought I saw oh, one. Oh yeah, it was big, he was huge, and he wasn't listening to me because I'm not his owner. So, so I'm thinking these pictures are gonna turn out pretty good. What do you think? Uh, I saw some of them and I would do me. So Michelle, what is life like as a female MMA fighter? Well, it's a pretty cool, exciting life. It start, started off a little bit slow, but now all these doors are opening for us. We're doing other things um, ju than just fighting. It, it goes so much farther than just fighting. It's oh, not yeah. just being at the gym every day. Supremacy, MMA, and other things like that are kind of opening more doors for us so that we yeah. do get the, are gonna be able to get that exposure yeah. eventually. And fighting, as some people don't know, street fighting is one thing, but actually being a professional fighter is the hardest sport in the world. There's nothing you can do that tests yourself more, you know, physically, emotionally, everything. I definitely think that people kind of, they always think that we have some troubled background, which isn't the case at all. I mean, I don't know for you. No, I just really just like testing my limits. There's nothing that like challenges me more and I just, I just love this sport. I love the rush. And I think one of the best things that you and I are doing is like changing people's perception of that. Who are you the most excited about watching? Well, I'm excited about Jens Pulver because he's a legend and I can't wait to see him come back and just win this fight and get back to himself and, you know, move on and have an even more successful career, which I don't know if that's possible, but I think he's And he's away. fellow supremacy MMA character. Yes, that's true. So what do you think about the brutality in supremacy MMA? Compared to other video games, like, they don't hold back no, anything. There's bone breaking. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't mind the brutality. I think it's kind of cool. It makes it realistic because, you know, MMA, it's brutal. You get in there, you get hurt. Does Supremacy MMA live up to the spirit of actual MMA? I feel like there's a lot of elements that represent the sport, you know, but then there's also other elements that are so unrealistic that are mainly for entertainment purposes. But I do like that. You know, there's the, the stories like behind every fighter. Every fighter has a backstory, just like real life. Real life. All right, everyone, it has been a pleasure. Once again, I am Felice Herrig, AKA Little Bulldog. Be sure to check us out on Supremacy MMA. And I'm Michelle Gutierrez, and you better check us out or we'll we're, come get you. Yeah, we're gonna knock you out. <laughs> she might submit you, I'll knock you out. <laughs> Best of both worlds.